So I'm going to be practicing open crate door time with Magnolia or Maggie here. And how that works is I'm just going to open the crate door and she's being really, really good. This is the default expectation in the crate is lying down and being calm, not standing up, not spinning around, not pawing at the door. None of that nonsense, nice and calm. And she's doing great. And you can see she's definitely still anticipating coming out. Um, still very excited, still has that adrenaline rushing through her, and that's okay because we're just the beginning of our training. And so she's working through that. And pretty soon, she'll be like old Buck here, or Callie, hey, I'm just gonna hang out and be super calm, but we gotta work on that. It takes time to, to fix the state of mind, even if Magnolia here knows the rules and expectations, her brain has to do a little bit of catching up. And so the expectation, even with the door open, even with me wandering around, is that she's got to stay in there. If she were to come across that threshold of the open crate, I would say no. And I would tap on the e-collar and put her back in there by giving her the crate command again, by saying crate, or moving my body back and kind of using my body language to indicate, hey, you got to go back into the crate. And she's doing great. So if you want to level that difficulty up, I know Callie, it's exciting, but in the right context, so even Callie, Callie down. Yeah, gotta lay back down. Good girl, good girl, Magnolia. Good girl, good girl. So she gets a good girl, because happened, and she did the right thing, which was stay in there, and she did not choose to come out. Good. And when I do want to let her out, I'm going to say, Maggie, break. Come on. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Let's go potty. Good girl.